We're at the Warren Area Tractor Club Plow Day, and I'm with Tim Beeks. Tim, you're vice president of the organization. Couldn't have a more perfect day for the Warren Area Tractor Club's Plow Day here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good temperature, good weather, got plenty of sunlight, people's feeling good. Uh, ground's a little wet in places, but it's turning really good. We've got several different plows and tractors here. We cover a wide area today. Yeah, basically the plows are all the same. They do the same thing. They have mold boards, shears, rolling cutters. They're all pretty much the same. It's just the older ones with steel wheels, uh, a little lighter frame, clear up to the modern day tractors that uh, use a semi-mounted plow, which is a uh, uh, a roughage plow, the dis distance between the point and the beams and stuff for plowing corn stalks. Because some of the older plows did not have that distance and uh, they would plug up from time to time. Well, I hear represented today, I saw Case and Cockshut and uh, various. Oh yeah, you're going to find uh, just about a little bit of everything. And what we don't have out here today is Oliver and Nellis Chalmers. Uh, we have them in the club, but they're just not here today. Got some old John Deere's? Oh yeah, the two bangers. Uh, they're they're per pretty close to my heart. I've got two at home, but I like the red ones too. Uh, you told me one time uh, with the old uh, John Deere's, you could always tell when your neighbor went in for dinner because you got quiet across the road. Oh yeah, uh, where I grew up is, uh, and where we farmed is the old river bottom and uh, we had everything but John Deere and uh, them 0820s and the 730s. Uh, when they'd crank up, you knew when they were starting, when they finished and just about what they was doing just by the sound because in uh, the old river valley there, it echoed. A little more about the club. You know, you don't have to be a full-time farmer to be involved in your club. Just be interested in tractors. You really got guys here that maybe grew up on a farm or just have a love for old tractors, but from really all walks of life. We've, right, we've got guys that grew up with them. We've got guys that's been around them uh, at a distance. We've got guys that live in the cities that stores their tractors elsewhere, but they're out here. When you're traveling around the country and you see an old barn, it, you never know what's in there hidden. Oh, treasures. You're always wondering what, what's in there, what could be in there. We try to preserve as much as we can. Tim, with all the new technology out there, such as no-till that we see a lot of today, it's great to, uh, to look back at how we used to do a lot of farming. And plowing, it's not something we often see anymore. No, not, not much anymore. Uh, everything is no-till. Um, the plowing has went to the wayside because it uh, promoted uh, runoff and erosion and stuff. The no-till keeps the folder on the ground to help prevent that. And um, the closest thing to that is chisel plowing or ripping, which basically loosens the ground up, but it keeps all the junk on the ground to help prevent the erosion and stuff. Um, well, you know, you bring all these old tractors to the Flying Cruise in every year. We appreciate that. But to see them out here working in the field, don't often get to do that. No. Um, there's a few clubs around that do do that. Um, this is one of our highlights of the year that we really try to get out with the guys. Keep them active. Keeps a strong club. Strong club. Plus, it helps encourage to get new members. And we're wanting younger members. We love these old tractors at our event every year. The Flying Cruise Inn is a unique thing. Uh, what I like about it, to me it's a special event. You get to see so much. And when we are there, and, and you mix airplanes in with these old tractors, if you look at these airplanes, they're the same age or older than our tractors. And you know some of the magnetos on these old tractors? Are used on the airplanes? Unbelievable. <laughs> I found that out a year or so ago. Yeah, the Wyco Magneto is common. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's amazing. Flying Cruise Inn's got a little bit of everything. But for us, we're kind of fascinated with airplanes. It's new for us because it's uh, a little more technical than what we're used to. With me is Heather Swagger. Heather, we saw you out there plowing today. Uh, it's great to see a woman involved in this uh, tractor club, the Warren Area Tractor Club. What's your background? How did you get started doing this? Well, truth be told, we're only about 
mile and a half, two miles from my family homestead there across the county line. So I grew up on a farm, been a farm girl all my life, so it's only natural for me to get out here and do this type of thing. Well, tell us about your equipment today. Well, what we have here is a Model 7414 pole type plow, and that's a 1976 International Farm All 666. And you've been doing this all your life? Oh, well, in some way, shape, or form, yes. <laughs> Well, isn't it great to see the ladies get involved in all this? Yeah, I'll tell you what, when I first got hooked up with Dave and Ash and all them, you didn't see very many ladies out there plowing. You know, I decided to start doing it, and oh, by about time after lunch, a few of them got a little bit more curious about it, so it's starting to grow. You know, farming's changing over the years, and, uh, you know, no-till and everything. Really good to look back and see how it used to be done. See, I... Yeah, we used to do conventional like this when I was younger. I remember we had John Deere and we had Case and a little mishmash of everything. And, you know, we did the conventional. We went no-till, but, man, I, I, I'd rather be out here doing it the old way. Couldn't have a more beautiful day here at the Warren Area Tractor Plow Day? Oh, heavens no. It's perfect plow weather. Well, you were doing it out there, and, uh, man, I'll tell you, on the farm I grew up in, we never had all this help. Well, you know, that's what happens, you know. It's nice to know that there's still country folk will come out and help another person and just come out and have a good time. Heather, you're growing up on the farm and now your children. Are we going to make it three generations? We're going to try. Uh, we sat here and a few years ago did a video with the H with the boy and everything and we're getting him on to driving it and as you see the kids are out here we're trying not only try to get him involved and keep the, get, keep the history going but I think it also instills a good work ethic to get him out here and pitch in. Great to get everybody together and a lot of good food and, and the fellowship's just wonderful. It really is about the people, isn't it? That's exactly right. You get out here with a good bunch of friends. You know, if somebody has an issue like we saw here today, we're all out here pitching in to give them a hand. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Certainly want to thank Mr. Slusher for the use of his farm today. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's been really nice. Uh, we've got a nice area to plow. Uh, we don't always go to the same place. We like to spread it out to different places. Um, it's a benefit for them for, uh, to loosen their ground up and like they say it helps get rid of some of the water. And today for me was special. I got to get up on a Super M and it's been several years but I've logged a lot of Super M time. Yeah, the only mistake you made on that, you got off of it. You should have <laughs> stayed there.